something that I've been trying to explain to Asian Americans too is if you don't recognize that obstacles for us were removed, then what are you saying about Chinese laborers who were here in the United States before? That they built the entire railroad, but they were lazy and they didn't work hard and they didn't have proper motivation. And that's why that's why they weren't doing better than being railroad laborers. Um, you know, they were, of course, working plenty hard, but they weren't at that time. You know, they weren't allowed to own businesses. There was a period of time where they couldn't buy homes. Um, I think that was something that I mentioned um, that in the 1940s. Uh, a lot of the Asian American business owners were living in the back of their store and people never knew that the reason why was during that period of time, Chinese and Japanese weren't allowed to buy residences. The biggest thing that I wish, again, it goes to the root cause harm in white supremacy. And something that I've always felt as an Asian American is if we understand how inaccurate stereotypes are about us and how we get portrayed in media and how we get talked about in media and in politics, like that is like if we recognize what's what's being told that's inaccurate about us, then why are we not able to recognize that what's being said about black people is inaccurate or for all people of color? Like, yeah. and I think that goes to what you're saying is that we're all like we're all indoctrinated to view one another through a white supremacist lens. So I think that's that's what I want Asian Americans to recognize. Black people specifically, but all people of color watching this video mm -hmm. is. Being able to see our reality through a nuanced lens and acknowledge, mm -hmm. hey, as a black person, I shouldn't take on the ways that white people have told me to view Asian people. I shouldn't take on the way that mainstream has mm -hmm. taught me to take on political, social, economic ideas about Asian people. I should yes. also talk about as well, me not internalizing black mm -hmm. inferiority in a way, but mm -hmm. I believe the reason why I haven't experienced the upper mobility that my Asian brothers, sisters, non-gender corn people experiencing is because I'm poor, because I'm lazy, because I'm deficient. The reason why you're going through the shit you're going through is not because something wrong with you. It's mm -hmm. not because your grandma, your great grandma didn't have no hustle. It wasn't because they ain't have no grit, no grind. It wasn't because they ain't have no business acumen. We can recognize there were policies made by people for particular reasons to mm -hmm. particular people for particular reasons. So we talk yeah. about leveling the playing field and then things like affirmative action get framed as like lifting, like as lifting one up. But it's like we're not we're not even talking about lifting anybody up. We're talking about having to fill in a gigantic hole that was dug yes. and that the United States was founded upon. You know, when understanding Afro-pessimism and anti-blackness is that the idea of social death being pushed on to black bodies is one that the world is able to buy into. 